What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review, and in this case it's going to be the popular Android launcher, Nova Launcher. So I wanted to review this launcher just because I recently got the Android 12 update for my OnePlus 9 Pro, and I wanted and while the launcher does have a number of good features like um, home screen transition, a good grid, icon pack support, and all of that, one of the things that it is okay with is with widgets. So I decided to give Nova Launcher another try, make sure it's still compatible, see if it's a feature that I still like, and or still a launcher that I still like. And one of the things that did come up for me was that I did want to use um, Custom Live Wallpaper Maker, which is not really compatible with the OnePlus launcher. I don't know if it's a device issue, OS issue, or something along those lines. So with that, I, this, I continue to use Nova Launcher just for that purpose. But I wanted to cover this or cover some of the features that Nova Launcher has that makes it a very powerful launcher for um, everyday users to use and pro may provide some additional features that your stock launcher may not. So jumping into the first category of home screen, one of the things you'll see is that you can customize the desktop grid. So most launchers, you know, will do like three by three or four by four up to, you know, six by six. Nova Launcher takes it a lot further by starting at two by two and going all the way up to 12 by 12. So you can have a really big or really small home screen depending on your choices. And you can even set the subgrid positioning to um, set things like your icons or widgets halfway through the grid so you can do it set them between your rows and columns so if you want a little bit more control over the positioning you can do that um, but if you just want four by four then you can do that as well you can set your icon layout so you can adjust the size the labels um, the colors and shadows and things like that. You can adjust padding, so how much padding is between widgets and um, icons. You can toggle or um, your dock on and off. Um, you can set things like the background, so if you want, um, you know, to set a custom color, you want it behind the um, navigation bar as well, p um, padding options. Um, and things like that, you can do that as well. And you can even match the dock to your icons. So if you want, you know, um, a very weirdly shaved back dock background, you can do that as well. Um, and then you can do things like set your dock icons, so or the number of dock icons from as few as two up to seven, along with a number of dock pages. So if you want to have your icons in your dock, but um, separated by category. So one for communication things like your phone and um, messaging app, another one for your media player apps, and then another one for games, you can um, do that. And then you can even do infinite scroll. So instead of going um, through your docs, you know, in order from one, two, and then three, you can um, keep scrolling. So if you have three docs, you can go from one, two, three, and then straight back to one or the other way around. So you don't really have to worry about which one is first or second or third. You can just keep swiping through them. Um, after that, you can also set things like the widget corner radius, much like you see in Android 12. Um, so with Android 12, the default option is the rounded corners to kind of have all widgets match or have the same matching shape. With Nova Launcher, you can customize that from no rounding on the corners at zero DP all the way up to 28. So you can have a super rounded pill like look or you can just have a random rounded rectangle look and things like that. So it's very customizable there. Um, you can toggle a search bar widget in the dock if you want, so either above or below the icons. You can set the search bar style, um, wallpaper scrolling and things like that. So you can have the default Nova Launcher search widget or you can replace it with a weather widget, your media player like Music Olay or Pocket Cast or um, the Google search widget, anything like that. Um, and then you can do things like adjust your wallpaper scrolling to on, off, or reverse, uh, set a transition effect. Um, so you can have a variety of different options based on what you like. Um, so there are a number of built-in options already. Um, and then you can do things like set your icon pack, of course, so you can um, um, set use a pre-installed preset launch um, icon pack like line x but if you want to use just your default icons but have a rounded look or squircle rounded square things like that you can do that 
and then you can talk or you can reshape your legacy icon. So let's say you have an icon that is not um, up to date or is kind of old or they're just using whatever icon they want. You can use the reshape legacy icons to create, you know, a rounded or, or whatever option you show you pick. You can have a theme to match that look, but still have the rounded corner so it doesn't look as obvious as if it was just its own separate icon. Um, and then you can also have adaptive icons, shadows, things like that. Um, other options include showing the not notification bar. So if you don't want to view that and just use, you know, a clock and weather widget be and not have a dupl uh, your time duplicated. And let's say you don't want to see your notifications. And instead of going, you know, one by one to turn the notifications on and off, you can just hide your notification bar and you have your, wid your icons on your home screen. Um, I'll get to that in a second as far as how you can get the notifications otherwise. And then you can set a transparent or dark notification bar and navigation bar. So that way it's um, if you have, you know, a lighter uh, wallpaper, then the icons and notifications are still visible. Um, and then as f um, it does also have a built in night mode so you can adjust the colors there. So if you want the night mode on, but wanna you don't want a pure black, you can do that, or you can have a pure black look as well. Um, as far as notification badges, um, you can set a notification, you know, dynamic based on the um, notification content or just a dot if you wanna be notified that way of, um, a, of the uh, notifications. Um, otherwise, you can also have numeric dots for the number of notifications, so, you can uh, view those as well. Um, you do need to give Nova Launcher notification access for that so it can adequately pull in those that notification content. Um, Nova Launcher also has a very customizable gestures and input system. So um, for example, on your home button, you can do, have, use some of their built-in options like um, opening the app drawer, expanding your notifications, opening search or assistant or things like that. I have it set to lock my screen just because in, Nova, in Oxygen OS 12, I can no longer long press on the recents menu to lock the screen. Um, you can also use it to launch an app or one of the available shortcuts on your phone. Um, and then you can also customize, you know, swipe up actions, swipe down actions and things like that. So whatever you want. So, you know, if you want to double tap your screen to open notifications or an app or anything like that, it is a very thorough system for doing things like that. So that's the bulk of the system or the um, Nova launcher. You can also back up and restore your layouts and customization. So if you're switching devices or if you ever have to, you know, re um, reset your device or things like that, then you can do that as well. Um, but overall, it's a very straightforward um, launcher that you can easily get through to customize your options. There are a lot of options to play with, so it can get overwhelming. But in general, for me, Nova Launcher is the cleanest of them to organize all the various features that it has. You can see things, see the changes that you make right away to play around with them. So that way, you know what changes you make. And if you have to undo it or redo it, then um, it is very easy to change. So that's all there is for this particular review. So the free version of Nova Launcher is available on Google Play or on the developer's website. And then the um, Pro upgrade allows you to um, have all ha full access to the, for example, the things like gestures and inputs um, and various other um, side options. I mean, for the most part, you can get a lot of the features in Nova Launchers, but one of the things that I know stands out as not in the free version is the complete gestures menu so or gestures support so you can get some of them like the home button i think one of the other swipe options but that's about it for a full unlocking you do have to get the pro version so um not only do you support the developer but you get um full um, access to all the various features there. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, features, or, or um, things that you want me to clarify, you can comment on this post on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for other past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. Um, in addition to commenting on the post with your questions on YouTube, you can also comment on this post on Twitter at Patel N01. And then as far as upcoming reviews, be sure to check out a 
or subscribe to the channel to stay tuned and get notified for when I um, share my review for custom live wallpaper maker so you can get a look and UI kind of like what you see here. But thanks for tuning into this particular review and being a supporter and subscriber to the channel and the podcast. And until next time.